Hey everybody, Adam Savage in my cave, and I wanna talk about, uh, I talk about making things all the time on this channel. I wanna talk about an official channel in which I make things, which is my manufacturing company, Savage Industries. Uh, and this is an apron we've been selling on Savage Industries for years. And it is not the subject of today's video, but it is the reason for today's video, because we buy this beautiful canvas to make these aprons out of, and we buy it in a specific width that is about a foot wider than we need. Fabric usually comes in long rolls, but of specific widths, and the width for our apron includes an extra foot of material we cut out for every single apron. And uh, Marcos from Mafia Bags reached out to me and he was like, we should do something with this extra foot of canvas, and we did. We released a set of uh, pouches, ooh, 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 ooh. Do I only have, oh yeah, here's five. We released a set of pouches in a, patch of fi in a batch of five. One, two, three, four, five. I love this military style uh, mafia bags. I think they spray paint this, they airbrush it. I can't tell what their process is, but it's beautiful. It's, it's, I love these. And when we released them, one of the most common questions we got was, how do I use mine? And the answer is, I've been traveling with them for a couple of months now, and I wanna show you how I break down my five satchels. Um, the numbers on the side are really thrilling me in terms of traveling. So number one, I always knew, oh, so here we go. Number one, always going to be the DOP kit. Uh, if you don't know the term DOP kit, I'm not sure of the etymology, it's spelled D-O-P, K-I-T, and it's where a person keeps all their toiletries. So let's go through what I travel with, shall we? We have here, we have nail clippers, we have flossers, we have your standard ibuprofen and some painkillers, we have lip balm, we have new skin for larger injuries, regular band-aids for smaller injuries, uh, extra toe nail clippers, I don't know why, I always end up with extra sets of these, hearing aid batteries, uh, again, always extras of those. Uh, my tape measure. Anbasol, this is a local anesthetic. Uh, I had it in my bag because I had a toothache, but this is also really good for an abrasion, uh, if you have to. Um, antibiotic ointment, <clears throat> simply because my interface with the world uh, includes lots of abrasions. A nice comb. Uh, and contact lenses, in case I need them. Uh, oh, and the ability to trim my handsome beard. So the DOP kit, absolutely always going to be number one. It's, it's the one you want if everything else goes by the wayside. Um, number two. Number two supports the other most important thing in this bag, which is cables and chargers. I'm always leaving the house with not enough chargers uh, and such, and so this is my compliment. It's a little light right now because some of the chargers I pull out at the, at the house when I get home. Um, but yeah, this is for computer support. That's Number two. Number three. Number three is pens and pencils and drawing cards. So this is just uh, me having uh, me having the stuff that I need to be able to make sketches or sign autographs. There's a flashlight in there. I always have at least one extra flashlight in the bag. I don't know. It's just really important to me to have one extra flashlight and at least three or four of these. Uh, my Papermate Sharp Writers, number two. And uh, just some index cards. Again, the ability to make a note to me is one of the most important aspects of being creative. It's actually, uh, Joan Didion and Gr John Gregory Dunn uh, had a wonderful book called Monster about writing together. And it's about writing uh, up close and personal together. But later in her book about John, Did John Gregory Dunn's death, uh, A Year of Magical Thinking, Joan Didion wrote about the fact that her husband thought that kept walking around with note cards was like, it defined being an author, to put your ideas down. Uh, and I, I saw in that the same thing I have, which is like, ne like, I never leave the house without a piece of paper to make a note on. In fact, I mean, I'm also travel with a full sketchbook, but just in case the sketchbook uh, is not on me, I've got the note cards. That's number three, pens, pencils, and paper. Number four, the comforts of home. Um, oh, right, and I actually went home, did I? Oh yeah, so the comforts of home, we've got earplugs. <clears throat> That's another flashlight. We have sugar, because 
frankly, frequently, there's not enough sugar for me for my coffee. There's a tea bag so I could have a nice cup of tea. Um, uh, oh, a little salt. Uh, and I always try and keep one of these in my bag, but truthfully, when I'm talking about comforts of home, oh, also a spoon that Tom Sachs gave me, a hand-carved spoon. Um, I travel with this. This is, uh, this is flake salt. This is um, heavy-duty, big kernels of salt. And mm, I love salt. I love food. And in my, in my travels around the world, one of my biggest issues with food is that there's not enough salt. And I have learned over the years that I have been cooking that I only require two salts. Only two salts. Yeah. Kosher salt and flake salt. That's it. Kosher salt because it dissolves fast and it imbues its taste really quickly. I use diamond kosher salt. And this flake salt, I don't know what brand this is because we go through different kinds, but like, honestly, when you get some fries, from Grubhub in the middle of the night and they're shite, you can actually make them not just palatable, but almost delicious with flake salt. That's why I travel with it. Those are the comforts of home. And there are sometimes other things in here, um, but that's what's in there right now. That's just a USB-C to USB-A adapter. I don't know why that's in there. It should be in cables. Um, and number five. What is it? Number five. Number five is all the miscellaneous. Actually, there's a thing in number four that should be in number five, which is one of my temporary tattoos. I also travel uh, with like some stickers and things to give away to kids and fans when I run into them. So uh, in number, th this should be in number five. In number five, I've got my camera phone case for taking better photos than just with your iPhone. I've got an extra mask. Couple pairs of tweezers. Uh, I don't know why there's two pairs here. Usually I just travel with one pair. Um, an extra set of headphones. These are my uh, AirPods. This is my backup set in case I lose headphones. This is such an important part of traveling. And then this is just this bead that I pulled off a, a curtain tassel in my parents' living room like 45 years ago. Uh, and it's been just part of my collection ever since. It's, it just gives me comfort. So that's the miscellaneous for number five. Uh, and I haven't been traveling for a while. So when I'm traveling, there are more tattoos and stickers in there. Um, and this is the main complement of what I have been traveling with lately. And I have traveled, I think, about 20,000 miles with these bags in the last three months, and they have served me incredibly well. Uh, if you have a set and you have them allocated, I'd love to see in the comments what you have allocated numbers one through five for. Thank you guys for joining me for this. Uh, one of the best parts about making stuff is finding out how other people use the stuff you make. Truly, it is thrilling, and the ways in which people can surprise you is even more thrilling. So yeah, tell me how you use them in the comments, and I will see you guys next time.